morning everyone, it's Sal here. A very warm welcome back to another perfume video. I hope you're doing well. So you guys, today I have decided to film an updated perfume collection video, seeing as I've recently done two pretty large um, declutter videos and I've managed to reduce the size of my collection a fair bit. Um, in addition to that, I have actually purchased like a few new fragrances as well. So on the whole, my, my whole perfume collection has sort of taken a bit of a shift. Um, it's changed quite a lot since the last time you guys saw it. So I thought it might be quite interesting to just give you guys like an overview of um, how my collection is now looking. One thing I'll say just right off the bat is um, the last time I did a perfume collection video, I had to do it in two parts because my whole collection wouldn't actually fit on this um, desk. So I had to do it in two really long videos um, and if we just look at it now, this is everything, this is all of the bottles that I currently own all in one place. So I'm sure you can notice straight away how much um, smaller it is um, than before. Obviously it's still quite large. <laughs> I think I counted the other day and there's around about 50 bottles, give or take a few, but that is um, much more manageable in my opinion than what it was before. I really have no idea how many bottles I previously had. I think it was around about in the 70s or something like that. It was just too much for me. Um, but now, as you can see, they are all here in the one place and I will be able to just do it all in one video rather than two separate parts because it's a much more manageable size. Starting off with today's video, um, where shall we start today? So first up here we have Lalique Soleil. So this is a really nice fragrance. I think it'll be really nice for the summer. It's not one I've been reaching for an awful lot. I am hoping that I'll get some more use out of it in the actual proper summer months. Uh, if not, then it might be up on the chopping block. I'm not sure. So that's Lalique Salai. Next up we have Elisab Girl of Now. Really like this fragrance. Um, probably won't be reaching for it as much in the spring and summer. It's more of like an autumn wintery kind of fragrance, but I still love it nonetheless. Next is Hugo Boss, The Scent For Her, Private Accord. This is a really nice um, powdered chocolate orange kind of smell. Very beautiful, very sensual, alluring and um, very nice. The only downside to this fragrance is the lasting power, which isn't like that great, but um, overall it's still a really beautiful scent. Next up we have my beloved Flora Botanica. Now, I actually couldn't believe um, what happened with this. So I bought this 100ml bottle and then I think it was within the, the next week after that, I heard that it was actually gonna be discontinued. So I was really happy that I picked up my bottle when I did. <laughs> um, I c I've kind of been considering whether or not to get a backup bottle. What do you guys think? Should I get a backup bottle? I'm just not sure because, um, you know, this is quite a large bottle for me. I don't really think I'd be using all of this up anytime soon, but um, I do love it. And it, it has a certain sense of nostalgia for me because it is one that I used to wear um, back when I was a teenager. So there are some sort of memories like associated with this one, which um, gives it a very special place in my heart. Next up, we have Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This is a really nice, sweet, sugary, flower petal kind of fragrance, really really nice. I really enjoy this one. It's slightly milky on my skin as well, which is a little bit more unusual and I really like that about it. Next up is my beautiful Bonbon. I love this bottle, I think it's so cute. Um, I saw actually on Fragrantica, they said there was like a big um, announcement on like the front news, um, like you know when you first go into Fragrantica and there's like new articles or things like that, one of the new announcements was that there's actually going to be a new release of Bon Bon, like an intense version. And I'm really quite intrigued by that. I'm also very intrigued by the Bon Bon Couture. So yeah, you never know, I might be adding either the intense version or Couture to my collection. Probably most likely the Couture version because it's more, it sounds a little bit more different. Um, I wouldn't want anything like too similar to Bon Bon. But the bottles of the intense version and Couture are stunning. Um, so I have definitely got my eye on those ones. Next up is a relatively new addition to my collection. This was actually featured in my haul video that I posted in January. Uh, this fragrance was um, introduced to you guys in that video. It's really, really nice. Um, 
quite an unusual spicy, smooth, uh, fruity, dry and green fragrance. I've not really had a situation where I felt it was appropriate to wear this one yet, to be honest. Um, but I am definitely going to keep hold of this one because I love the bottle. I do like how it smells. It's very, very unusual. And I think maybe for an evening or or I might just start wearing it more around the house and, and see how it wears on the skin because I haven't really actually worn it that many times. Um, so I don't really know the scent profile that well as of yet. So that is Marc Jacobs Decadence. Next up today we have Prada Candy. This is an old classic of mine. I really enjoy this fragrance. Um, really nice cosmetic powder, sweet kind of um, powdery caramel kind of fragrance. It's really, really nice. And now my pride and glory, <laughs> my beautiful black opium collection. Um, I love how this looks, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, so the last time I, <clears throat> excuse me, so in my last full collection video, when I was um, telling you guys about my black opium fragrances at that time, I had the intense one, I had this mini, and I had the original. But since then I have acquired the hair mist and the limited edition um, bottle. This is just the original juice but in a limited edition packaging and I'm absolutely ecstatic with these you guys. Look how beautiful that is. I keep meaning to try some of the other black opium fragrances like the uh, Floral Shock, the Neon and things like that and I also many of you guys have actually recommended the um, Nuit Blanche to me and I really appreciate the recommendations you guys. Actually quite a few times this fragrance has been mentioned to me in the comments, the Nuit Blanche. Now the only thing with that one you guys is um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's been discontinued or what it is but the only place I seem to be able to see this fragrance available is on Fragrance X and that would mean uh, me doing a complete blind buy so let me know in the comments if you think I should just go ahead and blind buy it or if I should like maybe not risk it I'm just not sure because at the moment I'm trying to be a lot more conscious and mindful about which fragrances I bring into my collection and things like that and you know it's from the black opium line so I am pretty sure I would like it but um but yeah it's just I would have to blind buy it and I haven't quite decided whether or not I'm going to pull the trigger on that one Next up down here we have my Trisardi My Name, really nice thin veil of a powdery creamy fragrance, really nice. I'm just gonna have a wee seat now I think. <laughs> I'm so glad that it's nice and bright this morning, it means I've got good light to film. It's really nice. Um, so here we have all of my Guerlain fragrances. This is now, these are now all of the Guerlain fragrances I have. I got rid of Chalamar Souffle, I got rid of my La Petite Robe Noir Intense, and these are the ones that I'm left with. So I have the original Mongolan, the Eau de Toilette version of Mongolan, and Mongolan Intense. I also have Insolence, uh, Eau, de, Eau de Toilette, Black Perfecto, the original La Petite Robe Noire, and another backup bottle of Black Perfecto. This fragrance here, the original La Petite Robe Noire, was actually in my declutter video and it's still available. So if anyone's interested, just send me an email. And at the back here we have my beloved Kenzo Amour and Kenzo Flower Elixir. I love these fragrances, you guys. I talk about them a lot in my videos. Um, hopefully you're not getting sick of hearing of them <laughs> because I do mention them a lot in my videos. It's just because I love them. They are beautiful powdery fragrances and very, very unusual. Next up we have La Rive in Women Red. Now this is a bit of a funny one actually, you guys, because if you um, if you watched my um, declutter video, I actually featured this in my declutter video. But I've since decided to keep it because um, what, what I was originally going to do is I wanted to get rid of this one and then buy the actual original fragrance that this is a dupe for. So I wanted to sell this and then buy Armani Si Passion because I wanted the original fragrance instead of the dupe. But I'd actually been reading some reviews on Si Passion and it just it got some really mixed reviews to be honest with you and some people were saying that their performance isn't that good as well and I just kind of thought you know what I'm really happy with this one like I love this fragrance so I don't actually know if I want to risk buying um C Passion if it's not going to be quite what I expected when I know that already I adore this one so I've actually just decided to keep this because I really really like this fragrance it's a very nice sweet fresh floral feminine everyday kind of fragrance it's perfect for work 
perfect for just out the shower. It's just such a nice, clean, refreshing scent. It almost reminds me of shampoo, but in a really nice way, like a really luxurious, clean shampoo kind of smell. It's just really, really nice. I love this one. So that is La Reve in Woman Red. Next up we have Valentino Valentina Poudre. Now this is a really nice soft powdery tuberose vanilla iris kind of fragrance. It's really really nice. Um, I don't wear it an awful lot but I do think in the springtime actually it would be a really beautiful scent to just uh, reach for, like a nice easy reach for spring. So that's Valentino Valentina Poudre. Next up today we have Britney Spears Private Show. Now this is a fragrance which has really really surprised me you guys. Um, when I bought this I thought it might be one that I um, just don't really gravitate towards at all. I thought it might kind of flop actually but this has been one of my most worn fragrances recently over the last few weeks believe it or not. So you might even be able to see from the dent there. Um, this has been a fragrance that I've been reaching for before I go to bed, just during the day. I mean I'm staying at home at the moment, I'm working from home so um, I, found that this I found this to be a really excellent fragrance for staying in. It's a beautiful, sweet, lactonic, um, creamy, sweet kind of fragrance. It reminds me of like a really indulgent milky latte. It's just so comforting, you guys. It's so beautiful. And I think it's actually so nice for the price. I paid literally um, hardly anything for this. This was so cheap. And actually, it's really, really nice. <laughs> so that's Britney Spears' private show. What I think I'll do next, actually, I thought I'd grouped all my celebrity scents together. Um, but this one was awry over there, so I'll move this with the other celebrity scents and I'll just talk about the other celebrity scents while we're here. So next up is Ariana Grande Cloud. This is a really nice um, soothing, comforting fragrance again. Um, quite sweet, quite coconutty and lactonic and it's really nice for bedtime as well. Um, although I will say that I've definitely been reaching for my private show a lot more than Cloud. I used to reach for Cloud a lot. Um, I wonder if I can get this out to show you the level. So there's the level there. I'll turn around. Yeah, there we go. There's the level. Oh, it's not actually been worn that much. It's probably, it's got like the same dent as Private Show pretty much. Anyway, I've been, I've been wearing this one a lot more recently, but I still really enjoy Cloud. Next up is Sofia by Sofia Vergara. Now this fragrance, you guys, has been going from strength to strength in my opinion. I have been reaching for this one um, kind of when I want to have a productive day when I want to feel on the ball and clean and feminine. It's such a nice bright fragrance. It's it's almost what I wanted um, Coco Mademoiselle to be. I think this is much better and it's in a beautiful bottle. I think it has really good performance and things like that. It's just an utterly stunning fragrance. So I've absolutely been loving this one recently, you guys. Um, that's Sofia by Sofia Vergara. Funnily enough, this is actually another celebrity scent which I've really been enjoying wearing. <laughs> I never thought that this would happen. I usually don't um, agree with um, celebrity scents very often unless there's something really special. But I think what it is, these are really special in my opinion, these four here. I decluttered a few celebrity scents and I now have these four here remaining in my collection and I absolutely adore all, all four of them. So this is Rihanna Nude and this was actually in a declutter video but I kind of gave it a bit more of a chance and I've decided that I want to keep this one as well. I've really been enjoying it, you guys. It's such a nice fresh out the shower, sweet, creamy, apricot and cream kind of fragrance. It's just so beautiful and feminine and perfect for every day. So that's Rihanna Nude. Right, I'm going to go back over here now. <laughs> uh, here we have the Olympia Onyx and Original Olympia. Now, <laughs> I think I've come to the realisation that I'm just stuck with these ones, you guys. I've tried to declutter them a few times. I've mentioned them in declutter videos and I never really seem to be able to get rid of them. Particularly this Onyx one. Um, I've mentioned this in many a declutter video and I just, I've never seemed to be able to get rid of it. So I've just kind of, I'm going to try and learn to love them, to be honest. Um, they're actually not bad, they're just kind of a salty vanilla scent and actually I think if I have some really hot days during the summer these fragrances will be quite nice just because they're kind of fresh, they're like not heavy, um, they're quite yeah refreshing, quite bracing with that salt note and things like that so I'm just gonna hold on to them now. Um, I'm just gonna like move them out of the declutter category and just you know make them part of my collection again just because they're not going anywhere and um, 
and I actually think that I might use them during the summertime. So that's Olympia Onyx and Original Olympia. Here we have my beautiful Parfum de Marley fragrances. So we have Delina Exclusive, which I adore, um, and we have Athalia. I love them so much. They're very dressy. Um, they're very, very feminine. I don't reach for them an awful lot, but that's just because I'm staying in at the moment. Um, and I think these would be fantastic for actual occasions when I'm going out into the big wide world. <laughs> so I might be um, reaching for them more after lockdown or something like that, but I do love them. Here we have um, the lone survivor from the Narciso Rodriguez house in my collection. <laughs> so some of you guys may remember in my previous collection video, um, I used to own three bottles from Narciso Rodriguez. So I had um, Narciso Rouge, I had uh, Narciso Ambre and Poudre, which is this one here. I decluttered Narciso Rouge and Ambre, which was perhaps a little bit surprising to some of you guys, but I just, I hadn't been reaching for them and they just, they were redundant basically. I just really wasn't using them and they were just, yeah, I, I had to get rid of them because anyway. So this is the last Narciso fragrance I have in my collection and I could not be happier with it, you guys. I adore Narciso Poudre. This fragrance is incredible. I love it so much. I'm so glad that I got rid of the other two because this is the one which truly shines for me. This is the one that really, really works for me. I love this fragrance so much, you guys. And it's the only one, at the moment, it's the only one that I feel like I need from the Narciso Rodriguez house. So that's Narciso Poudre. Here we have Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is a beautiful, rich, intoxicating nighttime fragrance, really great for date nights. It's got um, tuberose, honey, cherry, um, orange blossom, I think. It's beautiful, you guys. It's so intoxicating and feminine. I love it so much. Here we have Gucci Bloom. This is a new addition to my collection again. I love this one, you guys. It just smells like um, a classy, rich, pampered woman. It really does. It's so classy. I love it. It's kind of a soapy, kind of slightly green tuberose floral kind of fragrance. It's just so beautiful. It's so refined. It's so clean smelling as well. Like I'm kind of gravitating towards slightly clean fragrances, not fresh fragrances, um, not like super, super fresh, but you know, clean smelling fragrances like my In Women Red, uh, like Insolence Eau de Toilette and like Gucci Bloom. I'm just really enjoying fragrances like this and I adore it, you guys. I've been reaching for this one a lot. At the back here, we have an absolute classic in my collection. This has been in my collection since I started my channel. This is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. Really standout fragrance, you guys. Absolutely brilliant, um, soft, alluring, seductive, spicy vanilla scent. It's absolutely fantastic. Here we have Aphrodisiac by Anne Summers. I love this one, you guys. It's really, really nice. Um, I've had this one since way, way, way before um, I started my proper like perfume hobby. So I had this even before I had any other fragrances. So at one point I only had this. Um, so I've had it for a very long time, basically. And I've kind of been rediscovering it recently. Like I kind of forgot about it for a while, but I've been rediscovering it lately because it's just so good, you know. Um, it's such a nice flirty, um, sweet, kind of dark berry kind of fragrance with some musk and florals. It's just really good, you guys. So it's Aphrodisiac by Anne Summers. Next up we have La Vie Belle Le Clat and La Vie Belle Eau de Parfum Intense. Now, these ones are, um, in a way, they're kind of skating on thin ice in my collection a little bit, just because I've not been reaching for them Le Clat kind of gets on my nerves sometimes because it's a very, very bright, um, punchy orange blossom, citrusy kind of fragrance. And this one here, the Lode Parfum Intense, is very, very sweet and it's very rich. And I kind of thought that I would get good use of it during the winter, but I haven't really worn it an awful lot during the winter. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, they, may, they may go into a declutter category in the future. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're nice, they're beautiful fragrances, but I've just not been reaching for them an awful lot. Here we have Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. 
Now, I'd had my eye on this one for ages, you guys, as um, if you watched my most recent haul video, you'll remember um, me mentioning this. So I'd had my eye on this for a long time and it was only recently that I decided to purchase it because I managed to actually clear out so many old fragrances and I thought I would treat myself to this one. It's a beautiful um, coffee, sweet, fruity kind of fragrance. Really unusual in my opinion. I absolutely love it. I was kind of worried that it might be too sim similar to black opium, but it's actually totally different. It's like a completely different, um, it's much fruitier. It's just kind of shifted in a different direction and I absolutely love it. Here we have um, my scent of the day actually. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing today. So this is Frederic Omahora Pure Royale number 359. And this one is a dupe for Alien Essence Absolute. And it's really excellent, you guys. It's such a beautiful, um, rich, vanillic, woody, jasmine fragrance. It's beautiful. I love it. Here we have kind of all my Mooglers um, grouped together. I used to have uh, Angel Eau Crossier 2020 and Angel Muse. Those two fragrances have now found new homes, which I'm really happy about. Um, so now we are left with my Aura Eau Sensuelle, Aura Eau de Parfum, Alien Eau de Parfum, Alien Eau de Toilette, and a new addition to my collection, Alien Fusion. I adore this fragrance, you guys. It's so, so good. A big thanks to all of you who recommended this to me because you were just spot on. Um, whoever recommended this for me is obviously knows me very well because this is perfect for me. I adore it. I've been wearing it a lot recently. Um... I'm not going to spend too much time on it at the moment just because this is an overview of my collection but certainly it's going to be featuring in some upcoming videos because I'm absolutely loving it. Next up we have another gem which I'm absolutely loving and that is Armani My Way. I love this fragrance you guys, it's so beautiful, it's so feminine, it's sparkling, beautiful, fresh, girly tuberose kind of fragrance and it's absolutely beautiful this almost reminds me of if if jewelry had a smell like you can imagine a, a sparkling silver crystal kind of necklace or something like that or a, a sparkling bracelet it almost has that kind of feeling about it it's this bright feminine cheerful um sparkling fragrance and i absolutely love it and here we have two absolute gems in my collection again. Um, well, one more so than the other, to be honest. <laughs> so my favourite out of these two is my Poison Girl. I love this. I've mentioned it many times on my channel. You guys probably know by now it's one of my favourites. I adore it. This is the Eau de Parfum Concentration. And here we have Dior Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette. I also really enjoy this one, but I prefer my um, Poison Girl. Here we have my Landry Tresors, which I also really, really love. So we have the original Landry Tresor, we have Landry Tresor à la Folie, and Landry Tresor Eau de Toilette, which I think will be perfect for the spring and summer, you guys. I cannot wait to wear this more in the upcoming warm weather. I think it's just the most beautiful, feminine, girly, um, kind of springtime fragrance. It's just absolutely stunning. And there we have it, you guys. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we're like finished already. <laughs> I mean, it's been half an hour, but still, you know, this wasn't in two parts or anything. That's my whole collection. Um, I'm really happy with the way my collection is right now. It's much smaller than it was, as I'm sure you can see. So I, I am still on the lookout for some new fragrances um, to review on my channel. Um, but I'm just so happy with this, you guys. Like. I'm so much happier with the way my collection is now. I think it's a much more manageable size. I mean, there are still a couple that I think I want to get rid of, like these two at the back. I'm thinking I'll probably get rid of them soon. But on the whole, I'm really happy with my collection now. Um, it's just night and day to, from what it was before. Before, it was just so kind of um, diluted by lots of fragrances that I just didn't love. And now that I've managed to like narrow it down a bit more, it's like I can really appreciate my collection so much more um, and I just, I, I have a renewed love for all of these perfumes and some new ones as well. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching this today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below and if you haven't already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe um, for new perfume videos every single week. Thank you guys so very much for watching today. Take care. Bye.